All right, everybody, so for tonight's project, or the next couple nights, we're back on this car. It's kind of our spare car, but it's not been used for several years, and now that it's back in use, it's become difficult to shift. So the shifter bushings are wasted, and they've, you can hear it clanking around. They're all falling out of it. I'll take you under the car and set you up, and I'll show you what it looks like and we'll get to working on it. So this is a view of the shift linkage under the car. And you pretty much can't get into first gear unless you actually get over into the reverse gate. So anyway, that's what we'll be after. Okay, so the shift rod comes forward here. This bushing disintegrated. And then there's another, I think they call it a relay bracket or something. It goes up and it has two bushings in it. They've pretty much all fallen out. This bracket here that that thing's captured in, um, it, I think it bolts the steering rack. It has been like 20 some years since I've done one of these, since the 90s. But we'll get those bolts out. Get this thing off get this out and then there's some rods will go up top and they have like cotter pins in them and we'll get all this out of here and clean it up and put it all back together all right I'm not sure how this lighting is gonna work out or camera angle I'll try not to knock you over too much this pinch bolt I know has to come off and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to hold the back side of it too yep It may not have to come out, it may just need to be loose. Right. There are two 13 millimeter nuts up here. That piece is loose, but we need to get this off of here. Go ahead and pull this ball out. Challenge my memory here with how this comes off. All else fails by scripts. that piece. Um, this will push out the top and there's actually a little
There's little ball and socket nuts here. Those usually don't go bad, but they have little washers behind them. So we'll see what the kit has and we'll replace what's needed. So to unleash all that, you get down here in this mess, which I know you can't see anything, but right here, one of the rods is like a hairpin. So maybe I can at least show you getting that thing out. Yeah, maybe I should have done that first. There's that. Uh, maybe somehow I can reach down in here and get the rest of that piece out of there. I'll get it and show you. Okay, this is the slimy mess we need to clean up. And I'm going to have to drill these rivets out to replace this bushing. And I don't ever recall replacing this bushing in these cars before. But I see there are some screws in the kit, so we'll get that cleaned up. We'll bring you back and we're ready to start putting it back together. Here's our kit. It's been a while, so I'm gonna have to remember where all this stuff goes. Pretty sure these go down on some another bracket on the trans. We're gonna have to fight out of there. I don't recall this, but I'm sure that's got to go in there, which is probably why they included the screws. So I don't know if once we drill those out, if we <laughs> need to provide nuts or if they'll self-thread. We'll just have to figure that one out. These big ones, I'm pretty sure, go on this rod right here. And I guess when you get a $5 kit on eBay, you have a bunch of flash on it and we'll have to cut off. So let me get that stuff cleaned up and we'll get ready to uh, drill those out. So this is about a quarter inch drill bit. We'll try it first. See if we can just get it separated. I put some safety glasses on. disintegrated. There's two. All right, I can probably cut some threads in there. Let me figure out what size that is. M6 by one, by the way. Okay, looks like that thing Just slides in there like that.
things harder to rock. Now I need to recall how I used to get these in there. I think we took a socket and put it in the vise. Okay, we're back on the cabriolet today. I decided to take the air box out so we can actually see some of this. And I also took the bracket that bolts to the steering rack out. Of course, there's a hose right in the way, but right there is some more of the mechanism we need to get out. This arm has a bushing in it right there. And there's a 13 millimeter bolt that I'm pretty sure holds this on with some splines. And then there's this mechanism right here and bracket. And we're going to go ahead and get that out and clean it up and put the new bushings in and put it back like it is. This is of course a lock nut because they don't want this stuff falling off. And there's not enough room to get a socket in there. I'm pretty sure if I even had a ratchet wrench at 13, it wouldn't get in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get that off. And then back here is another piece right in the way. Another little bracket that bolts on. And there's a 10, there's a bolt that runs through there and holds this L-shaped deal on. So I'm going to get that out of there and we'll bring you back on the bench and put all the bushings and kind of put this back together. Okay, so that slimy mess is out of there. I'll get this cleaned up and we will start putting it back together. Okay, we've got everything cleaned up. Here are the pieces. This one's pretty easy. This goes through like this. This little rubber bushing has, usually these could just push in, they've got a little notch on to go in that notch. These are usually the pieces that go bad. A lot of times you can actually put these in in the car. And this one goes like that. So the shift rod, actually this little ball thing attaches here, I can't remember which way it is offhand, and that's where your shifter actuates, which actuates this rod. And then it goes over to all this mess. Didn't really want to take it apart in case I forgot how this went back together, but so this bushing will go in there. I've already shown you how to do that with a socket. And then it has these little foam pad things. I'm not really sure of their purpose. Maybe just make to, maybe so there's less noise. These little rods have a clip. I'm always nervous about taking these apart because this thing's 25 years old. But just goes on like so. We got them in the kit, we might as well replace them. So that's how those goes on, go on. Now this bolt comes out of here and there's bushings inside there so let me get together what I need and we'll take that apart. A 
again that's a lock nut I'm gonna leave this kind of all together I used to do this all the time not so much lately so those two bushings go in there and I am not sure I have those Yeah, those are not the right ones. So I guess these bushings here will live to fight another day. So we'll just stick them right back in there. Put this back together. And we will pretend this never happened. As I said though, those two I showed you on the other bracket are the ones that always go bad. So I'll put the little foams in there and then I'll get this one jammed in in the vise like I did the other one and then we'll put it back in the car. So it occurred to me when I was working on this the other night, my battery may have died while we were putting the other bushings in. So I'm going to refilm this in case you missed it. Push this one out. Through my finger. Kind of get started that way, and then hopefully it'll pop through. As I said, these these are a little harder ones I'm used to. Here we go. All right. I will get all this stuff back in the car and see what I can show you there. It might be a little easier for you to see it while it's clean. This piece attaches to the transmission and there's a blind spline in there where there's like an oddball spline so it'll only go on one way like that. That's actually what does all the shifting. And this little angle with the rods and the ball sockets goes through a transmission bolt hole down here. And then the other part is under the car. Because there's no way I'm going to get you a good shot of that. I will get the bolts back in there and then we'll go under the car. Okay. I'm not sure what the best order of reassembly is here, but let's get that put back on. ball thing back on. Make 
sure this is kind of fit in there. That little plastic ball in there, I think it'll never wear out. I have seen them fall off though. Fortunately, you can still drive the car if that happens. It just makes the shift throws really long. Okay, now that goes there, but first of all, you have to put this on. I put some blue grease in there. Just to give it a little extra lubrication. So that goes up there. Gets bolted on. And then that slides into that. And we'll I'll do that off camera because I suspect it's gonna be a struggle. Okay, we're all back together. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, reverse. Lines up on first, second pretty well. I'm not crazy about that much play in that bushing. Seems to me that should fit a little tighter, but I don't know if it matters. Everything else seems tight enough. This is usually the culprit of what screws everything up. So anyway, thanks for watching, subscribing, and we'll catch you on the next broken piece of equipment I have around here.